Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke. This is part number 11, and yes, we are in fact back in Parfum Palace. We have not gone back in time. I have instead ran back here to go ahead and grab ourselves one more encounter from whatever the Magikarps in this place may be, as we do have ourselves the old rod that we got in the last episode while we were going around to the town with the fossils in it. So with this old rod, we can get ourselves a brand new encounter to hopefully make up for the fact that our fossils were... One of them was was decent in theory, all right? A Regigigas is a very good Pokemon after five turns. The problem is that after five turns part, uh, the Butterfree was garbage. So hopefully we can come back here, we can go ahead and grab ourselves a decent encounter over here. I'm honestly, I'm not even going to try and go for a Legendary anymore. I'm not even going to try and talk into existence. I'm going to change my mind and just say, fully evolved. That's all I want. <laughs> Just something fully evolved. Because <laughs> you know what? Exeggutor and Sylveon, still really good. I hope we can get other things to match it. But now that I have rambled, go ahead and see what is in the heart of the cards today. Old Rod Go. I'm going to mess up this mini game because it's reaction time based and my reaction time is that of a half field potato. I didn't mess it up. Okay, nice. And our encounter is a... A Lalit. Of course, the incredible, powerful, fully evolved Pokemon, Lily. Yep. Okay. Okay. I will be honest, I didn't expect anything from this randomizer seed. You know, I I would have preferred the Magikarp, at least that can become a Gyarados. Well, to be fair, Cradilly isn't bad. Alright. This is another one of those situations where once this thing evolves, it's it's decent. It is. Cradilly's typing is good. Rock Grass is a pretty good typing. We could maybe teach it Head Smash. We could maybe teach it Giga Train. We have the TMs for it as well. There is positives. It's just not powerful now, <laughs> which is what I want. Oh, I also don't have many Pokeballs. Uh, maybe it was a good thing we didn't encounter a Legendary. I did not go get Pokeballs. I did not think about this encounter at all. I was just like, haha, let's go get the Magikarp equivalent. I should go buy some Pokeballs. Hopefully we can catch this thing within six normal balls. We have an Ultra Ball if it comes to it, but I don't feel confident that I can weaken this with Exeggutor, and I don't really want to swap out. I probably should, but I don't want to. If we use five normal balls and it isn't caught, we might have to start thinking about how to use this Ultra Ball to its maximum potential and swapping out into something like... I would say... Frillish so that we could go for a Nightshade because we know that that can't KO, but honestly going into Frillish against a Grass type is a silly, silly idea. It's silly. Uh, what other options would we have? We have, well, I mean, it's not like Lilip is frail. We could probably just like use Swift with Sylveon or something and be fine. I guess we're weakening it. I guess I guess this encounter is going to be more effort than I expected. Um, we're going to have to use Swift. We're going to have to weaken this thing. I don't think Swift is going to do too much. Ingrain sucks. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to use Swift. It's going to do not a lot of damage. Okay, sometimes you forget that Lilip actually is not zero base stats. I can Drain and Kiss, and apparently that'll be fine. That did significantly more damage. It's at an awkward spot, though, where I think a crit would KO, and I don't love that. Although, also, it's a Lilip. Do I, if, it, if it crits, do I care? I don't think I care. <laughs> I'm just going to drain and kiss. Okay, we didn't crit. We're fine. Okay. Uh, it is probably worth swapping back to Executor and going for another Hypnosis, as annoying as it is. We do also have a Beautifly with Stun Spore, but unfortunately, I did not take off the Assault Vest before I went into the encounter, which was silly. Again, like I said, I was not prepared to actually go into this encounter. I should have thought things through a little bit more. I was thinking about how I just did the super training on, like, the mini screen on the side so that it would show the team layout. That was kind of what I was doing instead of prepping to actually encounter a Pokemon. I'll try right here, <laughs> which... It happens. It happens. Um, we do land Hypnosis, though, which is nice, and I... I guess I should Ultra Ball, because this is the lowest its HP is going to be before it ingrains. I should Ultra Ball. 
I guess I'll use my Ultra Ball. This should catch. It's asleep. It's at a third HP. It's an Ultra Ball. If this doesn't catch, then I'm probably not getting the Lilith. But we do get ourselves the Lilith. Okay. What on earth do we call a Lilith? Uh, what's a common food that we haven't done the name of yet? Uh, the Sea Lily Pokemon. I kind of want to call it Celery. Nice and simple Celery. Nothing too crazy about that name. Okay, okay. Well, I am curious about what else I could have gotten, but also I'm, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. It'll just make me sad, I'm sure. But we do have ourselves our encounter for Parfum Palace. Time to head back to Amprep Town, I think is what it was called. Okay, we are back in Amprep Town, and I did, in fact, go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of balls. We didn't have many. We also don't have any normal potions, so I'm just going to grab a couple just for when we want to heal up a tiny bit of HP before we need to do stuff, as that is useful. I obviously want to keep as much money as possible because we have like a solar beam TM that we can go ahead and grab and there's probably going to be more TMs later on. But for right now, that is a little bit of necessary spending, I suppose. Ideally, we would just find ourselves like an actual good item pickup that we could sell for a lot of money, but we haven't had that luck yet. So we already went through the aquarium, I believe, meaning we are ready to go out the other side and continue on our adventure. Route 8, Morale Coast. We already got our encounter for Route 8, as I believe this is the same as just above. So I think we've already got the encounter for here. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, this is where we get the item finder. Which means goodies. Which means things we might be able to sell. We'll come in full circle. Uh, is it a rival battle to... Oh, or is it you? That's the dowsing machine for you. Oh, with this I can find items I can't see with no trouble at all. Here, I have one for you. Use it to find some treasure. Why did I think it was tied to a rival battle? Probably because every other generation does that. Using the dowsing, dowsing machine is easy. If you're close to a buried item, the dowsing rods react and their movement leads you to it. You'll find treasure when the rods cross and turn red. Oh, here's a bit of trivia. People who douse are called dowsers. I don't know if you can call them that in 2024. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. That sounds risky. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, I will, however, register this and use this immediately because I'm pretty sure they give you this because this beach is filled with items, right? Oh. Yeah, a full insert. That does sell the money, right? That's... Is... is that? Wait. Oh, it's the slow one. I What's the one that doubles money? I don't even remember. I don't remember the names of each incense. I just go, oh yeah, incense, cool. I know that the one that, like, I called Splash or whatever are good for water types, and... I know the breeding ones, like Rose Incense for Badoo, but I, I don't actually know which ones have what effects. I just want items now. A Leaf Stone. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'd rather have it than not have it, just in case. Uh, what do we have down this way? Ambrette Town. Encounter? Encounter. I think this is an encounter. We get a guard spec, trash, okay. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't count the fossils as an Ambret Town encounter, but fishing, however, does sound like an Ambret Town encounter. Does this keep going? It does. You get a sea incense. See, that water incense. That one. <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> I don't like the fact that that popped up. Oh? If I fish there, do I get goodies? Do I get something cool? This is still Ambrette Town, I think. So, Old Rod, use, and we'll see what our Ambrette Town encounter is going to be. Well, we fished in the cool spot. Give me a shiny. <laughs> Swino. Yes. 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 I'm okay with this. I'm so okay with this. Mammoth Swine, late game, great Pokemon. Great Pokemon. We have to get it late game. Once again, it's not fully evolved yet. There's nothing we ever catch is going to be fully evolved. But this is a Pokemon that I actually like. <laughs> I haven't had many of those. <laughs> uh, we learned the Hypnosis, so thankfully there's no Ice type moves that are going to hit us this turn. I don't think Swineup has that much firepower behind it. I'm not particularly worried about it going for anything too scary. You know, a Powder Snow from a Swineup isn't exactly going to take out an Exeggutor. So, 
I don't think we should have too much trouble catching this. But still, this is very, very good. Once again, we have to get it to, like, level 33. But once we get it to level 33, we get Ancient Power, and it can immediately become a Mammoth Swine. And that's powerful. That is powerful. We just have to get it there. Just have to get it there. <laughs> that's, the, that's the saying of our every Pokemon we have. The Pig Pokemon. I mean, have we called a Pokemon Pork yet? It's called the Pig Pokemon. I don't think we have. I should make a list of, like, every single name that I've used so far so I don't double up. But I'm pretty sure we haven't done Pork yet. So, Pork the Mamoswine. It's a powerful name. It's a very powerful name. That is our Ambret encounter. Uh, I believe we are good to just continue. Route 8 we already have, again, just to reiterate. Goodies. Goodies. Uh. Goodies. Mental herb. Trash. Okay. All right. One day, we're going to find ourselves a big gold nugget, and it's going to be so useful. You don't understand. I have to keep dowsing machining. This is my life now. This is how things are going to be. Uh, now that we are not catching a Pokemon anymore, though, we can go ahead and put a different Pokemon in front. I'm going to put Pringles in front, just because it is the lowest level, and I would like to get a Jellicent at some point. Again, Pursuit is scary, but hopefully we don't get Pursuit. Normally, I'd sink like a brick, but when I'm with my Pokemon swimming, it's no problem at all. Aha. Uh -huh. Please show me the fattest... The fattest Heatran. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty fat. Yeah, that's... That, yeah, yeah, that. That's, that's pretty fat. That's also very scary. Um... Be scary. Is it time to head smash with Geodude? Yeah, like it probably is. We are immune to normal type moves. Um, however, I know Regigigas can learn payback. I don't remember what level mine was. It was 20, right? I don't remember if mine had payback. I don't know if I even checked this moves. No, because it went straight to the box. I don't know if I checked this moves properly. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Geodude anyway, just in case it has payback, because I'm kind of afraid it might. I don't I don't actually know. Confused right. Yeah, that's annoying. That's very annoying. That's gonna suck. Um, we're gonna click Head Smash because we want as much damage on this thing as possible. Foresight. Okay, I'm glad I swapped out with Gellison. Oh, relish even. Please don't hit yourself. Okay. Okay. That's two turns of its slow start gone already. Tough. Knock off. Okay, I'm very glad we didn't stay in with Frillish or Frillish would have just got bonked. It does take some Rocky Helmet damage and we miss Head Smash. Okay. 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 I'm gonna head smash again. We get confused right again. <laughs> this is turn four. That knockoff is gonna hurt real bad in a moment. It's gonna hurt real bad. We head smash. We land it. Please do half. Please do half. Please do half. Okay. 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 Unironically. It has one turn left of slow start. Magnitude is 100% accurate. I think we'd only have to get like a magnitude 5, which is incredibly likely. It's more likely than hitting head smash, you know? There's, there's a 20% chance we just straight up miss head smash. So I may as well go for magnitude here and have an 100% accurate move. Please don't do anything crazy with knockoff and please don't hit myself in confusion. Dizzy punch. That's fine. That's resisted. Seven damage. That's fine. Please. Okay. Okay. It is out of slow start, I presume. I think I saw a message pop up. I presume that was it getting out of slow start. I am going to super potion. Please foresight again. Please use foresight. Dizzy punch. The big increase, but thankfully we have a rock. Um, we are going to Magnitude again. Dizzy Punch again. That's fine, as long as it's not Knock Off. Knock Off does a lot of damage. Geodude, please. Magnitude, seven. That should be enough. Goodbye, Regigigas. It was so much more stressful than needed. I just needed Geodude to not punch itself in the face with its big, strong arms. Okay, that's all I needed. We do hit level 22 from that, which is nice. 
But we should also get some XP for that, which is nice. If we want to learn Rock Blast, we may as well learn it over Rock Throw. Right? Rock Blast is 90% accurate. Rock Throw is 90% accurate. It's guaranteed to hit twice, which is at least Rock Throw's damage. It's just better Rock Throw. You can also go through Sturdy if there's ever a world where there's a Pokemon with Sturdy that doesn't resist Rock. Because they're all Rock types that get Sturdy, basically Rock and Steel. Uh, and Quillava, which I will go back to Pringles for. Pringles can fight this. Okay, that was a long Regigigas fight. It really was. But we did make it. We are kind of on par with their team, which is pretty much ideal, so I don't want to, like, train anything up. I have the EXP share off to specifically be a little bit lower in level, as Pokemon X and Y, you do get a lot of levels very easily. Oh yeah. Uh, one thing we haven't done is we haven't done Question of the Day. So we're going to jump into that now, now that we're, like, halfway through the episode. Question of the Day, what is your favorite food? Or... Or, what is the wackiest food you can name? As you can tell, I am looking for Pokemon names. <laughs> so also, what foods would be good Pokemon names? Give me just a bunch of foods, because I'm not very uh, experimental with my eating. I will eat chicken every single day of every single week of every single year, literally all the time, and eat nothing else. So I am not experienced in a wide variety of foods. So I'm sure there is some wild foods out there in different cultures and stuff like that. So give me just a ton of random food names that I could name my book on, please. That is question of the day. The question is, what is your favorite food? But the others are like add-ons if you have any good stuff. Swish, swish, swish. You wouldn't believe how much I've practiced my casting technique. Time to see the results. I don't really have any good uh, examples of funny food names because that's why I'm asking the question. <laughs> so I, I can't participate in the question as well myself right now, but hopefully others can. Um, I'm terrified because this thing gets Metal Burst and Metal Burst is a very, very strong move. So I'm going to click Nightshade because I know that then I can't bot myself. That's my plan. I'm just going to click Nightshade. I am defense. That's fine. I'm going to click Nightshade again. I'm not going to think too hard about it. I'm just going for the nice consistent damage. I'm not getting Metal Busted. That's happened too many times. I am defense again. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. You really set up that defense for me to do the exact same damage every time, and I am A-OK -okay with it. <laughs> Thank you very much for setting up your defenses like that and not using Metal Burst at all. Great. That was perfect, by the way. That was exactly perfect. Lugia. The legendaries popped back out, huh? I see the legendaries have came back to play. Um, I'm gonna go to Clang Clang, because I could go to Geodude, but I don't remember if Lugia gets any weird water type moves through level up, like Water Pulse or anything like that, considering it is the Guardian of the Sea, um, despite being a Psychic Flying type, as everyone knows. Dragon Rush. Not the move I was expecting, but a move that I am fully okay with it going for. Multiscale. Okay, that was multiscale. Okay, good. I was going to say, if that was just our actual damage on this Lugia, we would be here for the next 10 years. Uh, we're just going to get a grind again. Gust? That's fine. That's fine. That's a move I would expect it to have, however. <laughs> um, this gear grind should do significantly more damage. Yep, there we go. No multiscale this time. One more should KO. Don't whip out anything crazy. I expect, like, confusion and stuff. Weather ball on the beach. I don't think the beach has anything to do with it. The weather's still normal. We do take out a Lugia pretty easily. So we've seen Reggie Gigas. We've seen Lugia. Okay, what next? Groudon. Okay, but don't actually be Groudon. Groudon was very scary for me. That's not actually. I, I take that back. I want to un all that into existence. Gulpin. Much better. <laughs> much, much better. <laughs> so much better. It's crazy. We can just go into Executor and throw it into a hyperspace hole. Is that overkill? Absolutely. Am I going to do it? Also, absolutely. The idea of throwing a little gulp in, just this little sludge boy, into a hyperspace hole and just throwing him through some dimensions. Pretty funny. Although I guess we're the ones that go through the hyperspace hole, so it's not as impactful. I like the idea of throwing a gulp in through a hyperspace hole a little bit more. Okay, okay, Lugia out of the way. That's fine. 
Uh, our dowsing machine's still out, right? Yeah. Okay, we're still dowsing around. I don't know if I want to battle everyone, or if I just want to see... Is there any more items? Well, that's a large city. No more items, huh? My goodies. No goodies? Scam. I'm getting tired of wearing this swimsuit. I think I'll make this my last battle in it. Is that her way of saying that she's gonna rip? <laughs> God, duh. I don't think this thing can hit my frillish, so I'm going to just stay in and I'm going to just click bubble beam with no thoughts going through my head. If this is wrong, that sucks. Maybe it has rock throw? I don't think it has rock throw. Um, but I don't think it has any dark type. I've played a little bit of Pokemon. I've used I've used a good variety of Pokemon in my time. I know what moves Pokemon have at this point. Which does make me consider whether one day I want to do one of those randomizers where it randomizes the moves that every Pokemon learn. Uh, ow, by the way, but we did outspeed, so we should be fine to finish it. Um, makes me wonder if I want to do one of those randomizers where you randomize, like, the types of the Pokemon and the moves that they can learn, so everything is fully random. But also, at that point, you're not really playing... Pokemon. You're kind of just relying fully on RNG, and that doesn't sound as fun to me. So that's why I haven't done one of those yet. Uh, I'm actually going to keep Bubble Beam over Water Pulse, because I don't trust Infusion. And when I get the speed drop, it usually matters to a point where something will actually outspeed, so I kind of prefer having the speed drop to the Confusion anyway. I've, I'm pretty sure the Confusion chance is higher, it's like 5%, but it's fine. Fine. I'm gonna keep Bubble Beam. It's also five higher base power for whenever that matters. Um, hello, Final Fisherman. You're a big one, all right. Excuse you? I can tell from my years of experience as a fisherman. Is he... Am I, like, caught on the bottom of his rod? Did he, like, drop his fishing hook onto the sand and I stood on it? Did I get fished up? I may have been fished up. Uh, goodbye, Geodude. You are getting giga-drained. That is the end of you. I am so sorry. Unless you have sturdy. No sturdy. Denied. And Superior. We've seen how this plays out. <laughs> we've, we've had this situation before. I've seen a Superior in that cave. I know how this goes. I know that you can't touch my Beautifly. It is admittedly a couple levels higher, but I still don't know if it has anything that can hit me. Growth, that's fine. Your Vine Whip does five damage to me. I'm not afraid. Silverwind does good damage, and then we finish it with a Flame Burst. The classic of how things went in the cave. It's basically the exact same thing. Goodbye, Superior. No issues to be had here. Nice, easy 1,000 XP as well. And a little bit of money, which gets us closer to TMs. Let's get us closer to TMs. Okay, with that, though, we've made it to Solar City, which we can get another encounter in. Oh. Goodies. Goodies. Metal Coat. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's probably worth putting on Kling Clang, right? Not holding anything at the moment, so definitely. But yeah, that boosts Steel-type moves as well as evolving things, so we may as well slap it on and boost the power of our gear grind, as it is the move that we are probably going to be using every time that we send out Kling Clang. Might be like once in a blue moon that we send out uh, Kling Clang to use Thundershock, but I can't imagine that'll be often. So, fine. Uh, do anyone, does anyone, give me any goodies? A Whipped Dream. That does require trading, I believe, and we are not going to be trading. I'm just going to run around the city and see what I can get given. you like me to massage your executor? Oh, for friendship, not just being weird. Okay, no, no, no. I, I was like, why? <laughs> why would you want to do that? That's strange. It's a tree. <laughs> Side shop. Side shop. There's the goodies. There we are. That's the goodies I'm looking for. Hold on. Hold on, heal me up. I want to go over there. You, are you the side shop? Life Orb Tangerberry Pincerite. Okay. Okay. Life Orb, cool idea, not Nuzlocke. 
Not in a Nuzlocke. No, 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 no. That's, that's the how you get yourself killed. <laughs> um, Pinsarite. If we had a Pinsir, sure, that'd be amazing. But we don't. Unfortunately, we do not. Which is tragic. Uh, are you gonna give anything? Nope. Are you gonna give anything? You trade a love disc for my Mr. Mime. They're both so mediocre, I don't think I would, to be honest. Uh, the only other building I haven't been in is this cycle shop, which would potentially get us a bicycle. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome, welcome. Come right this way. Cycle is... What timing you have, young man? Did you know that you are our 10,000 and first customer since we opened the shop? Yes, lucky you. You are number 10,001. That annoys me. I want to be... Ten I, I don't want the one. My OCD. Stop. Although I guess the numbers are symmetrical, like a palindrome a 10,001, and that's kind of nice. I don't know if I could have said that any more nerdy if I tried. Sorry. <laughs> if you had been number 10,000, then you could have gotten a bicycle for free. But as a runner-up, you still get a chance to win a bicycle by answering our quiz correctly. If you're ready, then here we go. Your question is, do bicycles come in more than one color? I can look to the left and see yellow and green. So, yes. Crazy. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy frog. Bing, bing. <laughs> you are correct. I'm sure someone like you will love having one of our bicycles. Which color will you go for? Yellow or green? It's what you'll have for good, so choose carefully. Uh, 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 racing green. A green bicycle. That's grand. Now you can zoom all around Kalos. Nice. Nice. I don't want PP yellow. I want racing green. Thank you. Um, always. Always. Let's go and see what our Silage City encounter is going to be. Do we have any of those funny, funny spots? Also, do we have anything to Dowsing Machine over here? Oh yeah, I registered it. I forgot about that. Anything to Dowsing Machine? I always think carefully about which Pokeball I use when trying to catch new Pokemon. I definitely should do that. Item. Is There it is. 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 We can go and get a TM. We can go and get a TM. Um, I'm going... Oh, I think this is just the shimmering of the water. I don't think this actually affects uh, what Pokemon we get at all, but... Either way, uh, we have Exeggutor in front. We are ready to old rod. Let's see what our Solage City encounter is going to be. Can't believe I reeled that in in time. Our encounter is... Bullaby. Really? Really? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a randomizer seed give me Nuzlocke Pokemon that I hate more. <laughs> I don't like this Pokemon. It also evolves super late again. It's another Pokemon that just evolves so late into the game. I'm gonna go for Hypnosis despite it being a dark flying type. I know, I'm weak to both of its stab and I don't care because it's a Volibee and I could not be less afraid. I just couldn't be. I'm going to Giga Drain it. If it dies, so be it. I leave it up to fate. It did a very nice amount of damage, actually. That's completely fine with me. Okay. Bullaby. Which evolves into Mandibuzz. And Mandibuzz is okay at best. That's it. It's okay. It, it's a decent defensive wall with, like, a Rocky Helmet and Roost, but, like... I just... I just don't care. I just don't care. What on earth do we call a Bullaby? You're being called garlic, and you're gonna like it. Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why. Garlic the Vullaby. Okay, what an incredible encounter that we've picked up. Honestly, it could have been anything, and it it sure was something. That's that's how I would describe a Vullaby. Alright, but with that said and done. One last look at our Pokemon box for anyone that hasn't, you know, taken note of some of the Pokemon that we have got yet. We have Exeggutor, Geodude, Frillish, Sylveon. Exeggutor and Sylveon, very good. Fling Clang, Beautifly, Wigglytuff, Woobat, <laughs> Vopany, Elgium, Pyron, which is okay when it evolves, Halo, Slugma, Crustle, Diggersby, Regigigas, which has its moments of being good. Butterfree, Lilip, Swinub, which will be good when it evolves, and Vullaby, which is holding a Charizard IY. Okay. 
Is anyone else holding anything I didn't notice? Lily was holding an ultra ball. Which I caught it in an ultra ball. So that's quite a call, actually. Um, Elgame has a twisted spoon, but that's because I gave it to it. So this is our team currently. It's crazy that we are deathless. <laughs> it is absolutely crazy. And now that I have said that, we are going to have deaths in the next episode when we go into the gym in Silage City for sure. But that is in the next episode. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please go ahead, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and vote if I ever do. Bye.